She has an E, she has but in. The cat has twa the very colour. Five rusty teeth for by a stump. Her clap, her tongue would deave a miller. A whisking beard about her moo. Her nose and chin they threaten either. Sick a wife as well he had. I would not give a button for her. What is the connection between this poem and this building? This is the Crook Inn in Tweedsmuir, and in its old kitchen, which became the Willie Wassell Bar, Robbie Burns penned these words. The Crook Inn has been at heart and the hub of this community for over 400 years. First, perhaps, a watering spot by an old drove road. Then, in the 18th and 19th century, a busy staging post on the coach road between Edinburgh and Dumfries. It became the haunt of the Edinburgh Literati and that new breed which appeared in the 19th century, the tourist. They arrived to study the picturesque and to take much drink. In 1936, wonderful Art Deco features were added to this building. But it has not just been the haunt of the great and the good and the visitor. It has first and foremost been the local pub. And over the last 400 years, many a shepherd has supplemented his meagre income by selling to grateful crook owners salmon which have just happened to leap clean out the tweed. From the herd's cottage to the big house, the crook has been the biggest local employer in the area. It's been the place to work, to socialise and to be. The crook inn was very important for social interaction. We had teachers marrying nannies, we had people coming from further afield, buying houses, marrying, having children, supporting the local schools and bringing up their families in the area. It was my first job and probably my best job. Every household in Tweedsmuir has had at least one member of their family working at the Crook Inn. It has been the biggest employer in the area over the last few hundred years. Since the hotel has closed, there has been no meeting place for any generation in the locality. We have lost the social hub. There's no meeting place, there's no chance for employment for any of the young people in the area. The Crook Inn used to employ 10 full-time people and up to 14 part-time people. And since its closure, these jobs have gone. There's no local employment in the area and people are actually selling houses now and these houses are standing empty, waiting sale. There's no attraction to the area because there's no Crook Inn. I would like the Crook Inn to once again provide lots of local employment in the area to enthuse young people to get out and get a job, to give them a purpose in life. My name's Gordon Fraser, I'm a resident of Tweedsmuir. I'm currently a management consultant based in Edinburgh and crucially prior to that I've had 15 years management experience within the hotel industry. The Tweedsmuir Community Company with very high levels of involvement from all of the community have developed a very exciting uh, proposal and plan to develop the inn and the land surrounding it to reinstate what has been for many, many years uh, the hub of the community. The concept behind the new hub that will be based at the Crook Inn is really very, very exciting. Not only will we be reinstating the inn itself and getting back those uh, jobs and indeed growing the number of jobs up to 18 uh, full-time equivalent positions within uh, two years, uh, there are many other elements to the plan that are, are, that are exciting. There are sports and social facilities uh, that we will build and implement, again, for local community and beyond. Uh, there's a kitchen market garden uh, that will be established. There will be uh, a cycling hub. We will reinstate uh, clay pigeon shooting uh, and many, many other of the social events that have taken place in Upper Tweed Valley at the Crook Inn for literally centuries. Uh, and having those reinstated is really very exciting indeed. So we have the vision and we have the concept. We have tremendous uh, levels of support uh, from within the community and we have a very sound and robust uh, business plan. We've got one opportunity uh, to get this right. Uh, if we don't get it right this time, it'll be lost to us uh, forever. Personally, I'm absolutely determined to make sure that that doesn't happen. Building flats in Upper Tweeddale is not the answer. Developing the, the community hub is critical and I for one will devote all my energy and all my efforts to make sure that that is successful.
Since the closure of the Crook, the community were absolutely shocked. It's brought the community together. We're now fighting actively to campaign to get it reopened. We would like the future to be as good as it was in the past and even better. When the Crook Inn was closed in 2006, the community was appalled. We've been very active since then. We formed a Tweedsmuir community company. We have fought the application with the Scottish Government successfully. We've got a right to buy, but now we have a final opportunity to purchase the Crook Inn if we can raise the money this year. The community support has been amazing. Over 60 people turned up to help to clear the outside of the Crook Inn recently. That is about a third of the population. There has been also a variety of well-attended, enthusiastically supported local events to raise funds. We have a vision and plans for the renovation of the Crook Inn to make it both sustainable and of benefit to the local community. We need to raise £160,000 by the end of 2012 and we need your support or the Crook Inn will be lost forever. A fond kiss and then we sever. A farewell and lost forever.